a lot of varieties you can start in the fall. Again, remember, fall gardening means you need to water. So what I like to use is a drip irrigation hose or a soaker hose. There, the, you, know, you can put the water right where you want it, and that helps uh, it, the weeds don't germinate. When you do overhead watering, it sort of encourages weed growth, but you need to water because you won't get consistent uh, rains in the fall. When you plant in the, in the warm part of the year, July and August is what we're talking about mostly here, the ground is really warm. So that means the seeds are gonna really jump out of the ground and get going, but only if they have moisture. No moisture, no growth, too late, you won't make a crop. I, I've got a few varieties or packets of seeds so that, you know, to help you uh, to, to understand what you need to do in the fall and how to approach it. The first thing you need to figure out is when is the average first frost date in your area? Some crops are more sensitive than others. The typical early season varieties will take some frost so you, you, you really then have to worry more about your first freeze date. And I've got some seed packets here. I happen to have some uh, Gurney's Jumbo Okra. And you look on the packet on the back and it shows days to maturity. In the case of okra, that'll be from when you put the seed in the ground. And in this particular variety, it's 50 days. So you've got a lot of time and it'll these things in the heat, heat loving plants like okra really grow fast. Again, they've got to have water though. You can also try things. Sometimes I've tried things that work very well, sometimes they don't. You probably all have too. One of the things you don't hear too much about is doing potatoes in the fall. But I do it very successfully every year. It works great. And, and another one that you might not think about direct seeding would be peppers. I've got uh, Gurney's Yum Yum's Mixed Bell. And it says days to maturity, 55. Well, in the case of peppers and tomatoes and things like that, the days to maturity means when you're set out a plant. So here we are again in early July. I think I can direct seed these and still get a crop this year. Uh, another thing that you can do is uh, kale. Uh, it's a, you know, very popular these days. It has a lot of nutritional benefits. Uh, this day's maturity is 50 to 60, so you could, you know, uh, in August I would probably start putting some out. And again, you can succession plant, put some every two or three weeks. Kale will take a lot of frost and still be fine. So you'd probably be harvesting this here in uh, the central uh, Midwest. You'd probably harvest this all the way up till mid-November. Pak Choi, boat pack is this. And boy, is it really good and it's nutritious and days to maturity is 60 so you can't wait around too long but it'll handle frost also so that that would be a good one to try swiss chard perpetual is this variety sometimes the, these new varieties of swiss chard are great because they're not bitter they're mild some people call it the new spinach and and spinach as you know when it gets hot it bolts and and Swiss chard doesn't, and it stays sweet, so it's a great thing to do in the fall. Broccoli. Okay, typically you would do that in the spring, and you would, if you're going to do it in the fall, you'd put out plants. But again, I'm going to, this says, this is Blue Ribbon from Gurney's. It's, it's an early maturing variety, one of the earliest, 52 days. So I think I might be able to direct seed it. A lot less work. We'll see. Oh, and if you don't have enough summer squash, Gurney's Pride, days to maturity, 45. It's, it, so you could see that, you know, you got a lot of time, but you could do it any time. It loves the heat, so that would be a good one to do now. Of course, leaf lettuce, you know, you can plant that all summer, 45 days. Radishes, I happen to like this particular variety, Champion. It stays mild even as it gets bigger, but I I would almost guarantee if you have if you water and you put this in the ground three weeks later, you're going to have ready to harvest radishes. Three weeks, 21 days. The packet says 25, but in the summer, in the heat, three weeks, guaranteed. Carrots, of course. Now 
These you gotta, you got, they take a little longer. This is uh, Envy from Gurney Seed and Nursery. It's 66 days to maturity, but they are great in the fall. Something about them uh, maturing in the cooler weather seems to make them just a little more crisp and a little sweeter to me. So it's a, it's time here in the, in the central Midwest. You've got now uh, from early July till the beginning of August. You could do later. They'll take frost, but I would. I wouldn't wait too much later. Bunching onion seed, which is kind of fun to have to add to salads and things. It's 65 days from seed. It'll take a lot of frost also, so uh, that'd be something to try. And I don't want to forget peas. Peas do great in the fall, but they are sensitive to heat at the beginning. So if you get a real hot streak, again, you gotta water. It'd be great if you had a little mulch or something Collect your grass clippings, put some hay if you have some down, whatever, um, to help it, you know, deal with the heat. Typically, I would wait a little bit later on these until sometime in August to put them in. The maturity is 64 days, so it's sort of a tight window. But boy, is it great to be picking them in the fall when it's cool and the peas are fresh and crisp.